One of my BFFs, Oya, is asking this question. Can you explain the overview of the delayed diagnosis for black patients in comparison to the outcomes when black patients are treated? We at the IMF are so committed to this issue, we've created the Empower Initiative, empower.myloma.org, where we outline our commitment to improving the short and long-term outcomes of African-Americans with multiple myeloma. The facts are as follows. African-Americans have twice the risk of developing multiple myeloma, but also sadly twice the mortality. What that means is a black man or a black woman diagnosed today with myeloma is expected to live half as long as the same aged white man or white woman. So many reasons for this. A lot of it has to do with the social determinants of health, with the delayed diagnosis of myeloma and the lack of access to therapies. Oya, oh, yeah, you've pointed out number two, that delayed diagnosis. So whereas most myeloma patients do have some delay in making the diagnosis of myeloma, somewhere between three to six months, you know, the average patient sees their primary care doctor three times with signs and symptoms consistent with myeloma before the diagnosis is made, we know that's probably three to six months longer in African-American and Latino-American patients. So this is something that we're committed to reduce. And it's so important that we recognize this disparity so we can develop ways to reduce it.